Climate change, environmental degradation, and social economic challenges are some of the 21st century troubles bedeviling humankind in the sub Saharan Africa, Zimbabwe included. But could these problems be due to the increasing population growth, shortage of resources, or poor management of available resources? Whatever the cause, the world today needs to introduce adaptive measures to man-made and natural calamities. A ZBC current affairs team recently visited Chiredzi district in the southeastern corner of the country. Here, the team came across realities of climate change and environmental degradation. The greater part of the district is characterized by desert-like conditions such as adaptive Mopani vegetation, erratic and low rainfall patterns, as well as high temperatures that sometimes range between 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. In an effort to adjust to the present-day phenomenon of the changing climatic conditions, environmental degradation and population growth, the government of Zimbabwe, in partnership with developmental organizations, introduced a cocktail of sustainable environmental measures under the program dubbed Scaling Up Climate Change Adaptation in Zimbabwe. One such initiative is the adoption of food-saving stoves and biogas for cooking as a measure towards adapting to climate changes and as a way of reducing the continuous cutting down of trees for firewood in Chiredzi district. <laughs> Since time immemorial, more than 70% of Zimbabwe's rural communities relied on forest resources for meeting their energy and subsistence needs, hence depleting vegetation and wild animals in a number of rural communities, says Gogom Klavati Tivavenge of Pahela village in Chiredzim. <laughs> Ha <laughs> The use of wood saving stoves, popularly known as Tsotso stoves locally, and biogas as sources of sustainable renewable energy for cooking, has reduced the cutting down of trees in these communities. <laughs> Zinemusiano <laughs> Like other countries in the sub-Saharan Africa, Zimbabwe needs to adopt sustainable and renewable sources of energy, such as the introduction of energy-saving stoves and biogas in rural communities as a way of coping and adapting to climate change and thus reduce deforestation. It's quite advantageous because it helps, of course, to preserve the, the few trees that we are having here. The number of trees are just depreciating. So if we use these methods, they help to preserve, to preserve or to conserve trees. 
discourages the cutting down of trees. So basically we are saying we are conserving our environment. Then it doesn't produce smoke. It's also a sort of labor saving and energy saving. As we are saying, um, the, mostly the women and girls uh, no longer uh, have to fetch the firewood. It's used for cooking, it's also used for lighting purposes, and you only use uh, the available resources like the cow dung uh, to, 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 to produce uh, the, the source of energy that we need. Uh, those interventions are actually reducing the destruction of what of trees in uh, our communities. Uh, uh, given a scenario where they, uh, where they are beggars uh, is in uh, communities, this would imply that uh, uh, cutting down of trees for firewood or for domestic purposes would be would have been greatly reduced. Given that people would be actually uh, resorting to alternative. Uh, source of energy. So it's actually conservational in nature. And uh, we're actually really appreciating it given that it, it, uh, our communities, uh, the, most of our communal areas, they are relying on firewood as uh, their basic source of energy. So the introduction of biogas actually relieves pressure on those resources. In Chiredzi district, ZBC Current Affairs team visited Mr. Enoch Siziva's homestead in Ward 11 and Mr. Aaron Runesu in Ward 8 of Chiredzi, where the wood saving stoves or total stoves and biogas pilot projects were introduced under the Climate Smart Village concept. From the total stove, these families were then supported with setting up of biogas digesters as pilot projects for the community. Biogas is a renewable energy source that can be produced by anaerobic digestion of organic matter by using raw materials like manure, plant material, green waste or food waste. Kwa yuko kuzera edo mbo pamsoro pepe gori de kusasiziva kuti endowe ino shanda kuti mmoja uwanishi biogas sasa kuto uwani moto ukubiki sasa kungo chaka nengi endowe mombe zako chete. Bogas is a four, can six. Then you call it a Mugomo, Wako, which he went over. Kungovan in the form of Bechet, what do one as she and do away, you or the Nuish and Sir Emening. Mukuti, one and get a moto watch or a woman gets watch. Sakurewa Kukuti, Chirungu, Chaiwa Kukuma towns. Iko Kuno Kuma Seva, a quatiri, which combes Kuno. At Tavamuchirungu, because touching as you and do away, you know, you know, one of the beneficiaries of the Biogas Digesters pilot project, Mr. Aaron Runesu, takes us through the stages of setting up the digester. The good it is of feed up and then do a do a do a one rago goodanga. A eating do a nyoro in Engia to our secure who are Maxine Gaga Tom Catino Torando Edu. Shakara is a can I show ma, but no way at this one vora. We won't be the duba, but see map. Tino and as a human into a pabo, to a tora to a chink it is a bamburi, could he saw Marara? No good can I gasso Marara? A I saw yas good eat Buddhist and carry to Cassidy do Sakanaka. After collecting cow dung, plant material, green waste, or food waste, one then mixes it with adequate water and feeds in the biogas digester. Can I touch canayo, pano, pine it, Vaja? 
Chino bata isa mpake chune ne mbura yedu. Nengangoti pazua, sema zizi kwa hata kaitwa, njoo kuti 20 liters, ne 20 kgs, ze, ze, ze ndowe, tu, ne 20 liters ze mbura. Ndoo za to sangani sa tuesa mbake tumu, ne mkoti toko nzonga, zueta pori jima, zueta wakuchidira, pano pinda ne ndowe ya jo, ishinda kumeni ni nankiri ya jo, tajista la jo. From there, it goes into the biogas production chamber or digester for the production of biogas for cooking, lighting, or even use for other purposes. Ino ya tozo furani shufamba ni gasi rishinda kumba kuno bikiru wako. E, Ivo pano posa batimi ili kuno shika kuna asiza. Paka to wako, paka kura so singa iti iso kuti. Dove ya tuku ita bane paipa. Kuno uto sara kumsoro kuno so gara gasi. Kana kano kutuma 70 centimeters kani singa kangani. Ane ya harikumu sukuru ndo kunchimbo kwa yano gara. Dove ya ino ngobedi. Ya gazira gasi ili kusasi. Ine lefo, no kubuda kwa outlet uko, budi racho riko kukutishibude uko. Saka gasi re riko bai, kumsoro, ndio vejiri bai, ili pasi. Ili nduo umudura racho umunobi kwa gasi, padera paroso kubuda rishinda ukukiche. In the biogas digester, the already processed gas is stored there for use as a source of energy and the slurry is collected via the outlet point. Chabapo, patu endesa gasi, patu ufura gasi rawa kenda kumba, pound up. Pa outlet pana, ndo pano buda, ndo wenenge ya shanda uku, ya gazira gasi, isina ya tupeza uku shanda, ino baya pinda ya buda ya pinda omu. E, Mweza niso wacho, unungu wapache na pama ushuma kwenye amuru kuona. Iko kwa kuna kuchinu ugonye rino raramari kuku, awa kugari kuku, kuno pisa uku. Saka, pana hapa, ndo kwa unu kuzo wano kwa kutikuite, since this type of biogas is produced from renewable sources like cow dung, plant material, green waste or food waste, the slurry or decomposed raw material from the biogas digester is then collected and used as organic fertilizer. Our menu, we can determine the magadin. If we go to the field, kumaminda edu asibati it is best on kushandisa e magadeni mumurivo kana kuti e mabago kuti kuti e mufudzi unenge uchibuda umu uri more powerful kukudarika e fertilizer yaingo rasa ati chito chinja matanga chidi saka pare zvino ivo zvinozvi tawa kushandisa sezvo chita ze conservation farming garden uko ndio ndo ya yatawa kutora ya pedza kushanda umu unenge umufudzi Vari misi wedu wadu kuzi wati une nko wakatu dari kwa kunyanya fertilizer chayi ya mkwe kutenga pa simpara wanenge na saka ta waku kwansa kutora mfuzi uya fresha kare kukurushe uku tishi tishu wana gasi rukubi kisa kumba. The slurry or the dung that we get from that as another product it can also be used for agricultural purposes, for example, gardening uh, initiatives. So we are saying the farmer no longer has to buy fertilizers. The scaling up of climate change adaptation pilot projects supported the households and other village members with training in community-based natural resources management. <laughs> Biogas. What is biogas? I hire me to cut. Munumbo inda umasango. Bono tsaka oni. Oni zako indo. Ongo nunga ndo ya ko oisa. E kunani kwenye wake biogas kwenye wya ina yaka parcela. Sisi sekele eku. E baba sati waka ina. Panga tikeli we kuya etu hunyini. Noko inda wenye yaka ina. Magetsi kuawa. E magetsi mawenda e chilungwe ni wachirezi ambu kwa harari. Se magetsi awile e kaya. Se baba saati wa suseka wusabawo na kashe. 
banga tikeliwe ti hunyi misinya ya atsemiwe eh utoko beti homo aba tali enoveni bo bwa mesi noveni ba hlayisiwa bucheli wa eke ke biogas biogas le ya e producer e gas gas le le ya nyika endilo ndilo lo ya seka e wona wusa The adoption of biogas as a sustainable and renewable form of energy is assisted in curbing environmental challenges such as deforestation in some of these areas and hence conserve natural resources depletion, says Dr. Lena Dunganai, Oxfam project manager for scaling up adaptation in Zimbabwe. One of the key drivers of their vulnerability to impacts of climate shocks is the loss in um, a number of their natural resources. It could be the, the soils, they're getting degraded. And also some cases we see a lot of deforestation. And, and so when we come up with adaptation packages, we try to look at the situation holistically uh, to see what sort of factors need to be addressed in a particular community. So in the case of Chirezi, we are using what we call the climate smart village approach. In the Climate Smart Village approach, we try to address issues of water access, energy access. We're also looking at issues of access to markets, access to finance, as well as access to climate smart agricultural farming practices. So the idea of uh, biogas came in the sense of trying to make the villages energy smart. We're saying most of these uh, villagers, they rely on firewood for their cooking purposes. That's the main source of energy for cooking purposes. So this is putting a lot of pressure on forests. And um, forests play a very significant role, not only in terms of uh, protecting the land or protecting the, the, the biodiversity. Forests are also very critical in terms of uh, recycling moisture that is critical for rainfall. So you find that areas that get deforested or that lose their indigenous forests, eventually they also start to see a decline in the rainfall patterns. So it's very important that as we address issues of climate change adaptation, we also look at trying to protect indigenous forest uh, resources. So biogas uh, is a very important energy source which can replace uh, the use of firewood. But also we are promoting the use of uh, energy saving stoves in the same communities. So there's a combination of energy saving stoves as well as biogas. You find that biogas might be a little bit expensive for some of the average uh, households. So the, the alternative they have are the energy saving stoves. And already from the discussions we've been having with some of the beneficiaries, there has been a mark market reduction in the amount of fire would be used at house of level because of these interventions. Due to excessive cutting down of trees for wood fuel, deforestation is not only impacting on the present generation but the future generation as well. Biogas is a hundred percent. background. Who needs that Zaka and this has but Mason Ticatera is requiti Kakumasango, Kurautia Akusina, a Sagurauti, a Bagas, a Rinobatera, a Muguti, Muguti, Kurujusa, Kutema, a meat, Kosi Takona, a Mepoza, Quitica, a Mason, a Zinofamba, three very fast, fast. Sagurauti, Ticapara, the Masango, Zerauti, Ramangwana, Edu Abakusina. Can also lead to 
desertification. So our future generation, uh, we can safely say they won't be privileged with some of the trees which we are actually privileged at the moment. So coming up with the conservative measures, it will enable uh, our trees, uh, it will enable the future generation actually to know and to enjoy uh, 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 utilization of uh, those resources. Basically, what we are advocating as the district administrator's office is for proper utilization of what of those resources. You are not saying our community should not utilize, should not use trees or should not cut down trees, but they are supposed to use it in a manner which is sustainable, which will, will enable the future generation to also benefit from those resources. If we cut a lot of trees, uh, we normally have that uh, effect of m even using a lot of firewood, the carbon emissions that will actually have a negative effect on our... It, it actually promotes global warming. And I'm sure you, you realize that uh, this is actually a problem as it has an effect on our climate uh, where we normally we tend to receive uh, maybe the less amount of rainfall compared to the ones that we have been receiving before. Apart from averting environmental degradation, the use and adoption of biogas as an alternative source of energy has also reduced the work burden associated with searching for firewood, mainly by women in rural communities. Ngorei asha pezi mwezi, nengi ato pera mwezi sato wa pera. Saka tangati mkati medamu zikura kakura chaishu. Kale yako hine msinye ya hombe, ne ngwani msinye ni ngala nzawo ya hombe, hesha kai hawa msinye kwa yi helili. Kova msinye itini nile inga sala. Se ke msinye le inga sele manje, tuhunyina leti ya inga hati kuma nema sangula wa yeti humu, tinga hakuma kudra kati kuma kuyi na kai hawa. Kubasile kuyopa, se ikesa zona manje ni kwa haa. Vai endlele lava ngai tisa na neku tuhumuta fidiwa masozo stovu akona aina zukosha ne hikuwa zima gasela wa kaina zukosha swafu na badi. With the use of biogas as a source of energy, villagers have indicated that they now use less time to prepare their food and spare productive time. No reuza no kuti yini wa ndicha fambi onzendo zaka o zaka reba nchindo zaka oni. Saka uni zangu ino nguwa ntuwe ya ndungu nungira kudanga. Ndu ya ndu kanya, ndu chisha nisa moto wangu wike uwe gazi. Saka ajumbota nika 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 gaza. Nkuwa diki diki kwa nani kwa kutuojika hao. Kula sivu nyangu ya wanavo, asuwa re utira. Kubika uwe ni muna ababa wa asuwa re utira kutiva bike uwa. Pajina uchuku ngote arisara munu wana aki. Haripa umoto achibika. A school children have adequate time to study too. In Funle, Logan, Ashkolo, and Catlago, Ashkolo, you go another from the Fungan, and the footy arts in the Musina. We are a pudding mix and a caroa, a comacaroa, and a go, Oklahoma, Boko. You go shake a swagger, go catlo, and be a machine when I ask for living, sir. I ask for the waiter because you go. Biogas flames do not produce soot as compared to firewood. But now we Indoor pollution from firewood smoke is believed to be one of the major causes of problems such as irritated eyes, throat or chronic lung diseases, hence the use of biogas will help in reducing some of these problems. Plus, we know what I shan't do, sir. Did she be cow on in and keep it? Nemoto. 
Shaik po mira kuti wewe uwe meso chiji shume shikwele shaka ngo siana siana na na TV saka kunukubika kwa kazi uya kwa maana na na TV vani kwa kwa vadere. Lisa sekele kuhesha hine di ma TV di mzilo di tindrini lugo tsevela mzilo lejea lugo kwa nefula kuku musi kuku ini kuku pu se usungula utwa chifuwa utwa ini ini kuku 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 uta kuhi ma TV ne. Quite a number of uh, studies or reports that have been released by the World Health Organization indicate that indoor air pollution is actually a major source of illness among households that depend on firewood for their cooking purposes. And when you look at uh, biogas, it's actually clean energy, and I'm sure some of the households that you uh, that you have seen, they can testify that there's no smoke, you know, that 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 comes with uh, the biogas that they are using for cooking, and also even at the end of the use, you know, the the pots they are relatively clean. There's very little smoke that gathers at the base of the pot. So this is a very um, sustainable source of energy, which also contributes to, towards health. Uh, benefits for the households other than the environmental benefits there's a very huge uh, premium as far as health benefits are concerned so we're going to probably see a reduction in some of the respiratory uh, related uh, problems that are associated with in inhalation of um, smoke from uh, firewood it is therefore important for communities to embrace the use of renewable energy and for policymakers to encourage institutions to invest in new energy sources, which will help in improving the country's energy situation while adapting to climate change effects. Mm -hmm.